What's up, people? This is Mr. UV, aka Mr. Ultraviolet, and we're back with another video. This one's gonna be about tips, all right? So, your beginner tips when you first start off, or what you should be doing every day for that matter, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. First things you're gonna wanna do when you first start off, you're gonna click these these uh, Pokemon in the background that you see, all right? Click at least three of them. When you click three of them, you're gonna get three various different rewards. If you end up finding one of them turns into a ditto, you can get diamonds, all right? It can go from 100 to 300 diamonds. And then also, you wanna look at this beer shack in the background. There's gonna be another one that looks like a little white or grayish ghost. You wanna click him. All right, sometimes he'll be at the top where the sign's at or he'll be at the bottom where that boat is in the background. He can give you from 20 to 300 diamonds as well, okay? So you wanna make sure you click in those and you'll um, actually get various resources and diamonds every day, okay? Next thing on the list, you wanna get as many friends as possible. The more friends you have, the more uh, free uh, energy they can gift you a day. Now you can gift an unlimited amount to your friends and you only can have about 33 friends and you can gain 20 gifts a day, all right? So as long as your friends are online or if they're active, they will always give you energy and you can give them energy and you can receive that energy only 20 times a day. As you can look above that thunderbolt right there, it says 20 slash 20. That's how many times I've cleaned. Max is 20. I claimed my energy 20 times and it equates to about 120 energy. So that's pretty much a full energy that you can gain just from, you know, having friends. All right. You better make sure you only have active friends. If they haven't been on a couple days, get rid of them. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the next thing. It's the union. You want to get into a union as soon as you unlock it as quick as possible. Okay, now you click at the bottom where these red tickets is at, these red packets, you can gift them as well as receive them. Okay, so this one right here is where you receive them. You click one of these packets and whatever the number is on it, as you can see 300,000, that's the maximum that's in there. And you can claim anywhere from 300,000 down. It has to be less than 300,000, but you can claim a various amount. Only 10 people can claim from a, a packet. As you just seen in the next tab, I was able to send out a packet. As you can see, it says ultraviolet red packet. It was 100,000. Right under the 100,000, it has 10 slash 10. That means only 10 people can receive the reward from this packet. So there's another reason why you wanna be in an active alliance because you want everybody in your union or alliance to be giving out these red packets so you can get more gold, okay? So you want to be gaining a whole bunch of gold. You can get this free every day. Now, you only can claim 40 packets. So you look at this top right-hand corner, it says 23 in green slash 40. That means I have 23 more packets that I can actually gain gold coins from, okay? So we'll go ahead and claim this one right here. It gave me a measly 4,000 out of the 100,000 that's actually in the packet. You can actually do it for diamonds as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the next thing inside the union. This is something you want to do every day as well. Okay, so you got the donation. You want to donate. This is going to raise your union level. It's going to allow you to get more rewards for you to do, you know, the, the uh, union war that's going to come up. You have the union boss. You want to be able to do higher levels of those and gain more rewards and resources. So you always want to donate. Okay, the next thing on here is this training part. Um, that's pretty much just gives you a little bit of boost. It's not too much, but you want to do it if you have it unlocked. But this is the more important thing. All right, the gift right here. Now, I'm at the top, Mr. Ultraviolet. I asked for a Larvitar, okay, because I want Tyranitar. So you, when you first start off, you hit the red button at the bottom that says make a wish. You can pick any unit that you have unlocked. And you can wish for shards for that unit okay you can receive a maximum of two shards a day but you only can receive it if someone in your union is gifting it to you so they have to have shards to gift you those shards okay you can also give shards to your union you should be doing this you know he helped you she helped you um i help them whatever how it goes they help me i help them that's how we should be doing it okay so basically uh I gift that, I get the rewards for gifting and donating, and it makes our whole union stronger as well as me, okay? 
So the next thing in union that you should be doing is this one right here, the training center. And when you first start off, you're probably only going to have one slot open. The second, the second one is going to cost diamonds. Um, it did cost me 68 diamonds. It might be different depending on what level you are. The higher level, the the lower or discounted price the diamonds are. Okay. If you look at that third one, it says 88. It didn't say that at first. It said like 200 something. I kept left raising my level cap and it dropped. Okay, basically, whatever unit you have in the slot, they idly gain power or levels. Okay, they were all level one when I stuck them in there. Now they're like, what, uh, 20 and 18. Okay, that just happened from me just leaving them in there and people helping me level them up. It does it by itself, but when you, um, your team helps you, it speeds up the clock. Okay, so you only can put units in there that you have. That's why you've seen that list. All right, so you click the second tab. These are the units that your union members or your alliance members are asking for help with. Okay, if you see right there on the right, it says speed up, it's grayed out. When you first start, it's going to be red. I already did mine. Okay, so you can go through and look and see who you want to help, what unit they're asking you to help level up, and you can speed it up for them. If not, you can just go ahead and hit that button that's grayed out at the bottom left where it's like random and it'll randomly speed up six units in your unit, your union, your alliance or whatever. OK, so I usually just do that one. I'm not biased or anything and it speeds it up for them. OK, let's get into the next thing. The next thing is probably one of the most important things. It is completing your dailies. Complete all of your dailies. If you complete all of them, you will get a total of 930 uh, account XP. That's how much you can get a day. All right. Now, 900 XP is more than enough to level you up every day. All right. It can sometimes level you up multiple times from two, three to four. And when you first start out and you complete all of your dailies, you will jump at least three, four levels on your first couple of days easily just by completing all of these. On your first day, you should be able to end around level 21 to 23. OK, so. That tells you you're jumping on a lot of levels just by completing all of your dailies on top of the amount of energy that you're using by completing your you no know, story mode and stuff. That's also increasing your level cap. All right. Now, there's only a couple in here that I don't recommend you probably worry about doing. And it's mainly the diamond ones. As you can see, this luxury rebate one requires me to spend 800 diamonds. All right. It's another one that's in there for 300. Um, you can go for the 300 one just by, you know, refreshing your energy or stamina bar, getting, allowing you to, you know, do more missions and farm more resources. But this 800 one is kind of over the top. But because I do have a surplus of diamonds, um, I, I do tend to spend a little bit more than I should be spending. The reason why you want to save as many diamonds as possible is because they will have S plus banners in the future where you can get S plus units. It does take a maximum or I would say a minimum of 20,000 diamonds to guarantee a pool of a S plus unit. OK, so you that's why you want to be saving as many diamonds as possible. All right, because it's going to take 20,000 diamonds to get an S plus unit. That banner is going to come up probably after your first or second week of playing. So save your diamonds. All right. While we're on the top of the diamonds, I don't recommend pulling on this banner right here. This limited time banner, I believe, is a trap. It does have higher rates for the first five units ending with Ente, but it's not worth it. Like I said, there will be a S plus banner coming out after this. So save your diamonds for that. All right. What I do recommend is that you use these blue tickets, which are free to play that you get from, you know, completing various different achievements and three starring all the chapters in story mode. So you get those blue tickets free to play. OK, it does take 20,000 diamonds to guarantee a S plus unit. Remember that. Now, it is a free to play game because every multi you are guaranteed a S plus unit, as you can see right there. So every time you save up these 10 blue tickets, you're getting the S plus. You don't have to use your diamonds and keep pulling. All right. Now, the S plus banner is going to have pretty much all of these units right here. So this is what you're going to be saving for. They are way stronger than the S units. All right. And they have better skills. They have better skills. They are more rare. 
you know, so it's going to be harder for you to get, you know, the uh, duplicates. But they are way better by far than all of these S units, okay? So you're going to want to be saving your diamonds for these guys. Don't pull on that limited time banner, all right? If you already have, it is what it is. Build those units and just continue to save your diamonds. You do have these purple tickets right here that you can use on limited time events like this banner, the S plus banner. But I believe that those tickets are only pay to win tickets. So you only get them through paywall. Um, I might be wrong, but I definitely only seen them in offers in the store. I haven't seen them as any rewards for any type of event in the game thus far. Okay, next tip, the shop. You're gonna wanna check this um, every day. It does refresh uh, multiple times throughout the day. I believe about three times it does refresh. Some of these tabs, they do um, have different um, uh, materials in them. Some of them, you know, rotate. Some of them stay the same. I do recommend only buying the ones for gold. I don't recommend the one with diamonds. Once again, you should be saving your diamonds. All right. So, you know, the feature tab, it does rotate. It does refresh and change out the rewards and materials that's actually in here. Um, the union tab, this one stays the same. There are certain units in here I do recommend you pick over others. One of them being Zapdos. As you can see, I bought that one. Um, another thing that you I do recommend getting is the tokens, the little player images or whatever. Basically, these give you um like a extra stats. It's like a percentage-based stats. Like it'll give all your units um 10% uh HP or you know 3% attack stuff like that and it also has like extra like skills that your um avatar can actually allow you to use um like in the background once again it's just extra stats you know just more damage more HP more defense as you can see those do cost a lot more than you know the shards because it applies to your whole account and everybody on your team and you can actually stack those percentages on top of each other, but you are only able to use two of the skills. So the next tab is the shards tab. That one, it does refresh. You get the resources from this um, decomposition uh, right here. Excuse me, decomposition. Basically, it's like, you know, selling off your units that you don't want to use anymore and you're getting resources from it. Uh, like, basically, I recommend just doing your bees. Because I don't see you using bees in the future in Endgame. Definitely not. And none of them are really worth it even in the beginning of the game. So I usually just sell off all my bees when I need resources to get this. Now, the uh, resources in this shop, like I said, they do rotate. So they will be different every time the store refreshes. Uh, at the moment right now, I don't see any these units worth actually getting. Rhydon's okay. but And so is Onyx when they both evolve. But I wouldn't be using my resources on it because I don't really pull a lot. Next tab, we have the arena tab. This one stays the same. Um, I do recommend in the shards is Scyther because when he evolves or even at Scyther, um, he, I would say he's kind of like borderline broken because he does have an ability where if he kills a unit, he can take an extra turn. And other than that, I would say once again, those tokens, the images or whatever, they do cost more. Next tab, we have the device tab. This basically kind of works like the tokens and images. You already, if you have this unlocked, you know what it is. It gives you like, you know, extra stats, uh, the more pieces of the machine that you actually have. And basically the next one is the ether paradise. Um, I ended up messing up buying this ditto. I thought it was an S ditto, but it actually was a A ditto. So it only applied for A ranking units. So I kind of messed up on that. It is what it is. Uh, once again, I recommend the, um, the token or image. And the Ether Shop does refresh. The Trinket Shop, it refreshes as well. What I do recommend is these trinkets. Um, check my video I do have on my channel. It's going to be covering trinkets. You know, trinkets is how you get, you know, a lot of power. And you definitely want to be hitting that little guy right there, the Ringmaster dude or whatever. He's going to give you various rewards depending on how long you've been online okay so if you've been online for 30 minutes 15 minutes to an hour he'll give you a certain amount of resources and i think it either caps out at 30 minutes or an hour all right so you, he gives you about five of those uh groupings next tip you want to be doing arena you want to be doing arena every day 
Now, what I recommend in Arena is that they give you five uh, free fights. So you get five fights for free. I do recommend you doing more than those five for free. Like, go ahead and use a couple diamonds. Because as you can see right here, you're probably going to start off with rank like 20,000, 30,000. You want to, you know, skip a bunch of these, these ranks, these levels. You want to try to get into the thousands, singular, you know, like 5,000, uh, you know, 4,000, 2,000, whatever. To get closer and closer till you get to the hundreds. And then you start getting to the single digits and what have you. So, go ahead on your first maybe two, three, to even three days, depending on how far you're jumping go ahead and use some diamonds because as you can see each milestone you're getting the diamonds back you you i think the first day to hit rank number one i might have used maybe 500 diamonds total once again it's because i have a surplus of diamonds i don't recommend this unless you have a strong team that you know you're going to guarantee to be able to hold at least the top 10 spot or if you're guaranteeing that you're going to whale out or spend money in general if you're not going to spend and you're just 100% free to play, go ahead and maybe do an extra five fights, a total 10, just to jump a couple of stages, all right? You wanna make sure you be doing all of these. Once again, Adventure, this is probably one of the most important ones to do, because it actually gives you the EV uh, materials for you to actually throw on extra stats and you know power onto your units. Uh, basically how this worked, like I covered it before, you go through, you reach your cap where you can you know hit without losing, and then, you can hit the reset button. It'll knock it all the way down back to one. Right now I'm at 46, it'll drop it to one. You hit the blitz button, it'll take you back to 46. Um, all of these, they, you know, they're decent. You wanna definitely do all of these. Um, some of them are more important than others, but definitely check those out, okay? Um, the next thing on the list, you definitely wanna come in here and be doing these hard missions in the story. The reason why you want to be doing these is this is how you're going to get shards for the corresponding unit on the front. So you see this Gengar, right? If you do his mission, you can get Ghastly Shards, which levels or evolves into Gengar, all right? Gengar also is a unit that gets a Mega Evolution, okay? So there are certain units in here that's worth more to uh, Blitz, all right? Um, that's better to Blitz for, like the Gengar is better to do than this Weezing. All right, uh, and then you got like um, Scyther, uh, you know, his evolution, I forgot what a scissor. He's probably the best one out of all of them, other than some of the mega evolutions, but you definitely want to be doing all these a day, you know? So you get shards and you get these trinket blueprint materials. Both of those are very important, okay? Because once again, the trinket blueprint material is going to allow you to put a massive amount of power on your unit, okay? That is very, very important. Next thing on the list, okay, it is a tip, but it's nothing that you really have to do. It is don't chase the leaderboards. As you can see, I'm number one in my server, all right, but I don't recommend everybody trying to go for this because like I say in every game, um, there's always going to be a whale, okay? So if you don't know what you're doing, you're probably going to make a lot of mistakes and then the people that actually know what they're doing or figure it out, they're going to jump over you especially the whales they're definitely going to jump over you so don't go chasing the leaderboards even though the rewards are actually good but just have fun this is a free-to-play game i've been mr uv